Okay, I'd like to do a quick little tutorial on um, tile making in Graphics 2. Basically, this is anything you're going to use if you're doing a top-down 2D game, or if you've got uh, roguelike, or if you've got an RPG, or anything that needs tiles, really. So I'm going to begin by um, starting the layer section. Um, okay, so first of all, what I want to do is I want to kind of zoom in to get my bearings. Uh, well, Actually, let me take that back. I'm going to left-click effects to get a grid. I'm going to left-click it, uh, right-click it. I'm going to take snap off. I want my tiles to be 32 by 32. Some people like smaller. Uh, I'm used to 32 by 32, though. Okay, and you'll notice it didn't show a grid, even though we said uh, turn the grid on. That's because we're zoomed out pretty far. So we're going to click the magnifying glass, left-click, and then you can use the mouse wheel to change how you're zooming in. Okay, we'll zoom in there. Maybe I didn't turn those on. Let's uh, let's look at the grid again. I don't want snap on, but I want show on. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to tell the tile recognizer tool to basically create a group, create a group of tiles the same. I'm going to do water and I'm going to do uh, land. So first of all, let's start with some water tiles. Let me get a little more over here so you can I can see my colors this is the default transparent color so this index zero here uh, I have over here is the background the transparent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark tiles with color it, that's really what it comes down to uh, we'll block out some C tiles I'm going to use the filled rectangle to do this I'm not um, I'm not on snap mode I'm going to select basically a group of nine. And what I draw here, it'll mirror on these other ones. Okay, now I'm going to. How dark do I want my grass? Well, it doesn't matter. These are hideous colors anyway. Do another group of nine for my grass. And I'm going to have an island in the middle of these, but we'll do that in a bit. So now let's go over to the FX menu and we're going to click tile map left click and it found three unique tiles so using these um, it compares tiles and it finds the ones that are basically the same so whatever you draw will mirror over it's detected the black the blue and the green so let's begin by drawing some rough t C tiles uh, these are probably going to be pretty ugly it uh, and another thing, you can use the bracket, the square bracket keys, to kind of move lighter and darker too within this up and down the palette. So we're going to begin uh, right about there, should be good. I'm going to come over here to the freehand tool, left click it, and I'm going to begin uh, freehanding some waves in here. Uh, don't don't be uh, don't be afraid to cross over crossing over these lines here. Uh, I'm going to hit the undo key, the U. It's best to draw from this middle one here, actually. Just to get some nice little waves built up. Okay, and then eh, it's kind of an ugly, ugly transition over here, but maybe I can... Let's see, how's it looking over here? Eh, not great. Um, I'm not going to be super picky on this today. Whoa, what was that? Something flashed out. Anyway, um, these aren't great, but they'll do. I'm just going to thicken where they intersect a little bit. Uh, just like that. Oops, how did I get into the... How did I get into the, uh, the black there? That's weird. Okay, just so we can kind of round these out. These are real ugly, and I'm rushing through this stuff too. Um, now we'll go a little bit brighter using our bracket key. I'm going to see if I can just come in in a few places, get some nice... And again, you'd never want to be this sketchy in, in, uh, <laughs> in your, your art that you're making for a game, but this is just uh, just highlighting some some parts on the waves there. Okay, so I'm going to call that a wave tile. It's ugly. It'll work. Now we'll start doing our grass. Um, and I'll come over here. 
a little bit darker color freehand tool eh, I don't know you know what I could do I've never tried the spray tool before uh, we'll right click it to see 31 is going to be a little bit wide for these I'm going to go with a width of 8 and well, another thing about the spray tool you can select a range of things uh, and we're saying from here to here is what it'll spray. It's going to look real ugly. I don't think this will work as nice. Oh. Holy cow, it's real slow. Um, okay, well, that's not terrible. Um, it didn't do the range I said. Let me right-click it again. And the reason is that I have it in mono. Let's do multi-mode. Uh, and this is going to be just hideous, I bet. And now we're just tapping it. Yeah, it's not great. Well, you know what? That turned out pretty darn good, actually. If we look in the... I mean, it's way too saturated, but um, color-wise, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. Okay, actually, I'm going to put in just a little bit more bright color in there. Yeah, I'm sorry to waste your time. I'm just... <laughs> I said I was going to do a simple, simple tutorial. I'm going to try hue shifting a little bit towards this... Uh, cyan color okay we're we're on the freehand tool let's just touch it just a bit is it noticeable do i need to go a little lighter uh let's hit the br uh, the square bracket again both of them move up and down so i'm just going to touch these up just a, just a hint how's that look okay yeah it makes it a little bit more um i don't know a little bit more three-dimensional I guess all right so we've got our really ugly spray painted grass tile here and we've got our weird looking sea tile now I'm going to temporarily copy these to the spare page actually let me take effects off so I'm going to take tile map off that'll de-recognize everything I'm just going to test see how it's not grouping the black tiles together anymore so nothing's mirroring over I'm going to select this all again graphics too when you select things it makes it a brush and I'm going to use our spare page. So I'm going to hit the tab key. And now we're in the spare page. See how that... And I'm going to plop these down on the spare page. Oops, that's not where I wanted it. So I'll hit undo, U key. And I'll put it right there. Now I hit tab again to return to the drawing. And I'm going to hit the D key. Or, I'm sorry, delete key to go back to my single pixel brush. I'm going to adjust the size of the brush. I'm going to go up to oh, about like that. I'm going to use the transparent color here and I'm going to carve out a little island making sure that when I cross the grid they cross in roughly the same place. I'm using this tool because it gives a nice organic look um, rather than just using you know a square or whatever. Uh, you want to make sure that they cross in roughly the same place when you cross the lines. Okay, we'll do it over here. Uh, okay. Oop, maybe a little bit too far. No, that's all right. Okay. Now, what we can do is see how we have we have these um, transparent centers. We're going to use this like a mask and go right over the top of the other one. So I'm going to hit tab and go back to our page, our spare page. And what I want to do is I want to select basically one of these just for just to save it. I'll hit tab to go back to the main drawing area. This is our tile for C. I'll hit tab to go back again. And I'll grab our tile out for the land. And we'll place that down. Oh, um, remember select to brush or brush grab. We don't we don't copy or we don't select in uh, graphics too. It basically is a copy. So now I'm going to take these masks that we've created. Make sure I grab it all, and I'm going to go to the spare page. And what I need to do, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to click this again to get out of there. We'll go back in there. I'm going to hit delete to go back to our single pixel brush. And now I've got to take this and I'm going to put it over the top of this one. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see where we're 
and now mouse wheel out okay so now we'll plop that down there and now we have a land island in a sea I'll hit the delete key again or we're on the spare page remember and I can use the keyboard arrows to move around too but we'll select this as our brush and I'm gonna move over here plop this down here remember we're on the spare page so we're not affecting our main drawing and now I'm gonna select everything as a brush and I'm gonna jump back over to here okay well they changed places but that's not a big deal so now we have land we have sea and land and we have uh, land inside sea tiles and again you can use this for cave walls or rocks or anything that needs to tile just a kind of a quick tutorial I'm gonna left click this to zoom out again um, one thing to remember and you'd want to touch this up let me not point with that big brush I'm gonna hit delete to go back to the single pixel brush uh, you'd want to touch up these edges manually but you can see um, how much it quickly makes uh, tiles really nice when you can see what you're drawing with it, and you can see them tiling over um, so you're not having to constantly copy and paste eight tiles around one tile every time you make a change to see if it tiles correctly uh, let's see how long has this been running 11 minutes uh, maybe you can leave or you can stick around but I think I'm gonna do some cave wall type tiles so for that I'm going to use three new colors basically we're just gonna uh, block those in like we did before and I'm gonna have three different ones and you'll see why in a second it doesn't matter what colors you use we're just using something that the uh, that the tile recognizer thing can um, can recognize so we're gonna copy these down make that okay all right now we're gonna go into FX again and we're gonna tell hey tile map recognize those okay so now I'm gonna fill them all in with the same color but they've already been recognized in the system to be three individual three individual um, groups of tiles so we're gonna use this ugly pukey poopy brown and we'll do that shade I'm gonna fill them all in okay now let's go with a little I'm gonna use the uh, square brackets you can move back and forth with either one of those I'm gonna use that one I'm gonna go to our freehand and I'm gonna start uh, just kinda grabbing these what I like to do is I kind of like to do scales so you start at a high point and work to another one gosh this is not exactly what I wanted but that's okay but you can see how nice and quickly this shows you especially crossing over when you're crossing the boundaries is so nice to have I'm just gonna go down all the way actually I should always be working off this middle one it's safer what I mean by safer is it's not going to go into the black tiles that are all recognized as the same thing. And we're just going down. This could be probably filled. Actually, a couple of them could be thickened up a bit in the joints. I need to stay on the middle. And you can see these are these are not great tiles. In fact, I'm running a little low on time. Um, in fact, uh, anyway. Now let's begin. Uh, let's begin just knocking some of the corners off these cave tiles here, just to kind of round them out a little bit. Kind of removing those jaggies, knocking the corners off them. Anything that looks real square, we want to kind of round. These are rocks. These aren't bricks. Although you know, this would be a great tool for bricks as well okay so anyway I'm gonna leave these top ones they're gonna be like Final Fantasy where you have a lighter um, a lighter texture and you can see the top like it was sliced off let's use our square brackets and we're gonna go down actually maybe I'll shift into the next hue if it'll let me get away with it alright now we're gonna go here and we're just gonna start just coming in here with these 
Oops. And rocks aren't perfect, of course, so every once in a while they'll have uh, maybe an imperfection or two. Considering there's some tiles. Of course, this is, isn't my best work by a long shot. Um, I just kind of want to show you. Maybe the, maybe the light gets a little bit less intense as you go down. So these bottom ones, maybe they're not getting quite as much light. They're still rocks. They're just uh, not as intensely lit. So now we have that done, and we have this nice square top. Um, we're going to sample this top. So we see it went down to this color. I used the pipette. And I'm going to brighten it just a little bit by hitting the square op or the square closing bracket, and I'm going to fill this top here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to grab this line here. Again, it came over here. I'm going to use a square closing bracket key, and I'm going to bump it just a little bit lighter. And now what I can do is go on top here, and of course. You know, this is going to be the top of whatever this wall is. Gosh, that's pretty ugly. But you get the idea. I'm running low on recording time, I think, here. So if we zoom out, we have a nice cave wall, some islands. Um, that's basically how you make tiles really quickly. I'm going to click left-click zoom out. Uh, you can kind of see how it goes. All right, so best of luck, guys. Uh, Enjoy learning more graphics too, and uh, happy game making.